going on guys Beagler Outdoors here do you want to know how to wire your Garmin live scope the correct way stay tuned I'll show you how show you what I did wrong and tell you why it took me two times to install it and a lot more time than it should have stay tuned what's going on guys Beagler Outdoors here so as you know from my last video I installed the Garmin live scope in the boat and if you look at my last video I had it wired directly to a battery but to one of my trolling motor batteries in the back pain in the butt running all the wires to the back i don't know why i did that you know i had an on off switch i had an on off switch over here and i had a bunch of wires running up through here and through here all gone i got rid of all of that so what i did was talk about batteries first so my boat came with interstate batteries let me tell you something no one talks about interstate batteries because they're expensive as hell, dude. Interstate batteries are $420 each. I have three of them in here. And one of them recently died after six years. The boat was bought in 2018, 2024, and one battery just died. So I swapped them out with a bunch of... I swapped one of the one that died out with that AutoZone battery. And I bought a second battery and took the other interstate and I put it in the front for the live scope. So now the only thing I have in here is uh, my cranking battery, which is the last, well, the other interstate, only cranking and runs the gauges. That's all it does. Okay. And then I have the two Dora lasts, which are for the trolling motor. And that is it. Nothing else. And there's a Minn Kota four bank charger that charges the whole system. Okay. So let me see. Is it an update here? Software update. Do -do 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 -do. I don't know why it's kind of like wanting to do an update and I'm getting an error message. I have no idea. Anyway, so what I did was I took the other, the interstate battery. Let me grab a flash. I put a flash because I know it's dark over here. I grabbed the interstate battery that I had up there. So remember, I had two interstate batteries and then I had three. One died and I got a, I got a door last. So I was like, I want to put a battery. A direct battery for the live scope so about another door last i said well you know what i don't want to have one door last and one um interstate on the trolling motor mismatch batteries so i took the interstate and put it in here and put the two door last in the back so what i did here is i got the interstate battery mounted right there okay and i have yeah so you can see a light okay power pole pump my power pole pump is in the middle there okay you see my power pole pump is right down there okay and then i have my live scope i have my on off switch right there now that on off switch turns off the power to everything so what i have in here all the power running i have the helm graph okay the helm unit right here okay and i have the bow unit right here garmin 106 sv ultra eco maps okay I have the power wire running down into here for that, power and ground. I have the power wire running into here for that. The power pole wire is running there. And I also have the live scope, which I'll put a light on, the live scope right there, okay? Now what I did was I went to AutoZone and I bought one of those things, right? Uh, I mean, I don't know if it's the best, but it, it works. I had to do jumpers because they're like direct wires. So I had to jump each one over. But what you can see is if we work from the right to the left, on the right positive, I have the live scope. On the next positive after that, I have the two graphs. And the next positive after that, I have the power pole. Okay. And all the wires are neatly back in there. And let's get this camera turned right. And you can see they run all through there. Okay. And that's pretty much how I have it wired, all right? As you can see the battery. You can see everything there, okay? And I bought that, and uh, I'll have links in the description of all this stuff, but I bought that cutoff switch from Walmart, 38 bucks, all right? So that's pretty much how I ran it. And I'll be honest, man, should I keep this light on it? So you guys can see it really good. Okay. So that's how I ran it. It's nice and neat. 
Now it's gonna bounce around. I did put a battery tray in here from Walmart, a $10 battery tray to hold the battery in place. And I mean, I ran a thick, like a friggin' four gauge wire from the battery to the starter switch. And then I ran like a, I think an eight gauge wire from there to over. Then I jumped them all over. But that's how I would recommend running it. I know my live scope is mounted on crooked. Trust me, it's bothering me. I know, I have to adjust it. But everybody was saying, everyone was saying that, you know, to get the best picture out of the live scope, you have to, you have to wire it directly to a battery, wire it directly to a battery. Now I'm not gonna lie, I mean, I don't know what a good picture was because I took mine out, it looked fine. I mean, you have to mess with the colors and stuff to get it to be really clear. But they're saying that they get the best, best picture to have a direct battery. Now I have a Mac Daddy Interstate battery. All that battery is running is the two graphs, which draw very little. The live scope, which draws very little. And the power pump, which the power pole pump, which I don't use the power pole ever since I got the Ultra, the Ultrex. So it's just got a light blinking on it. So it's drawing very little. So that should be able to run for a long time. Everything should be able to run really well. But that's just how I wired mine, man. And if you look at the video before this, I'll show you how I ran the wires for the bass tracker and how I did everything. There's two more videos on this whole Garmin live scope thing. But everybody was saying, I'm reading online. It's the, thing, the thing is like, I wired it, right? I ran all these wires crazy. And I see on, I'm going through YouTube. Oh no, you need to wire trick to a battery. You need to wire trick to a battery. So I'm like literally, I yanked all the wiring out I did, started fresh. Cause I have an auxiliary wire up here that was running the graph, but I said, you know what? I want clean power. So I put fresh, fresh, fresh wires going all the way to there, to that. I had this right here. I had it mounted, this unit. I had it mounted, wired up to under the helm. Brand new fresh wire. So I have clean power. The only thing that might be interrupting the power is a signal from this power pole, but everything is clean power off this battery. Everything. So we're gonna go out and see how it works. I think I'm gonna take it out tomorrow after work in the morning. So I'll take it out tomorrow afternoon. Uh, I'll try to get some shots of the screens. Things I don't know what a good and a bad picture was because I just got mine, went out and looked at it. And to me, it was like the greatest picture ever. Apparently I had a shitty picture. If you're looking at, if you're going what people are saying online. So we will take it out. We're gonna take it out tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Any questions on how I did the wiring or anything, links are in description for all the stuff that I have here. And that's pretty much it. So we got it rewired again for the third time, but this time we got it done right. And hopefully everything works out well. So be the Thanks for watching. That is how I wired my system out.